Hello, how are you doing? We are almost at the new year, and I am really excited about new books that are going to be published in 2023. And there are a lot of them,、uh, but I've gone through and I've picked out 12 titles that I'm especially keen on. So I'm going to go through each of these books, give short summaries of them, and why I'm so interested in reading them. Also, the publishers have kindly sent me advanced copies of these books, so I'll be able to show them off. And I can't wait to get stuck into them as soon as I get. Some quiet reading time. I'm going to go through an order of publication date and、uh, let you know when they're coming out. But of course, publication dates change sometimes,、uh, so、uh, you just have to keep an eye out、um, for, for when they're coming out. But this should give you a, a good idea.、Um, so, to start off with, on January 5th, at the very beginning of the year, the novel Sugar Street by Jonathan D will be published. And this is a Told from the perspective of an unnamed narrator、uh, who just walks away from his life one day. He hits the road and、uh, leaves his old life behind,、um, goes to a new town to start again. And in his car, he has a big stash of money. So there's a whole mystery about his background and where he came from,、um, which is gradually revealed over the course of the story, but also、um, how in this new town he wants a life. Of tranquility and、uh, kindness,、um, but the difficulties he encounters、um, when he encounters the、uh, political divisions、um, within this、uh, small community.、Um, so I, I just have a fondness for stories where characters just kind of walk away from their lives and following the, the outcomes of that. Like one of my favorite novels is Ladder of Years by Anne Tyler, and this kind of sounds like it's on similar. Lines,、um, but from a male perspective. And so, yeah, I'm just really interested in that. And also, I read Jonathan Dee's novel, The Privileges, which I really loved. And I've been wanting to read more of his work. So, yeah, looking forward to this. On January 12th, the debut novel, The New Life by Tom Crew, will be published. And I've been hearing so much about this book already. The story concerns two married couples at the end of the 1800s in England and how their sexual Proclivities lie outside the norms of the Victorian society、um, that they inhabit. And the male partners of these couples want to write a book、um, to change people's ideas、um, so that they and people like them can live more openly in society. And、uh, I think the Oscar Wilde、um, trials are, are going on in the, the background. And、uh, yeah, so I was recommended this book by a bookseller friend of mine. And、uh, you can see there, there's quotes already on the front from Kate Atkinson and Anne Enright and Colm Toybean. And、uh, my friend Edmund White wrote me personally, like raving about this book, saying、uh, this author is the new Alan Hollinghurst.、Uh, so I'm very excited to get to it. On January 17th, there's the novel Really Good Actually by Monica Hesse.、Uh, this is a contemporary story about a woman in her late 20s、um, who has just got divorced. Forced and、uh, she's struggling to pay the rent.、Um, she's wondering where her romantic life went wrong. And so it's just about the, the sort of messiness of life.、Um, it's, it's said to be quite like a comic novel and like very witty.、Um, the, the author was、uh, one of the, the writers on the、uh, TV show Schitt's Creek, and which I, I loved that, that show.、Um, so yeah, I think this will just be like a very enjoyable,、uh, fun novel to, to start the year. Off with. On February 2nd, there's the new novel In Ascension by Martin McInnes. Quite a big book, almost 500 pages, but it sounds so interesting.、Uh, the story is about a young woman、uh, who had quite a difficult childhood and a volatile father,、uh, but she escapes by、uh, studying and immersing herself in the marine world. And as part of her research, she discovers this mysterious vent at the bottom of the ocean. And this leads Leads her on a whole journey,、um, including traveling across the, the cosmos. Now, I know that sounds like quite a sci fi type story, but I've read Martin McInnes's work before.、Um, his novel, Infinite Ground, is so interesting.、Um, the, the way he structures his story and、uh, approaches certain ideas、um, is so unique. I, I've not read any other writer like him,、um, so I think he's absolutely fascinating. And、uh, this just sounds like such a, a fantastic. 
fantastical story. On February 9th, there's the new graphic novel Men I Trust by Tommy Parrish. Uh, this is a story about two women. Uh, one is a single mother and poet. Um, the other is a sex worker. And it's about the unlikely friendship um, that is struck between these two women, and uh, which gradually develops into something more. And it's about the difficulty of finding intimacy in a society that's increasingly closed off. Uh, Tommy Parrish is an illustrator and a cartoonist uh, from Canada. And I've just been wanting to read more graphic novels. And I just think this sounds really good. Also on February 9th is the new novel by Aobami Adebayu uh, called A Spell of Good Things. And this story is also about an unlikely kinship um, between two very different people uh, by about a, a boy um, who comes from a very impoverished background and also uh, a, a young woman um, who comes from a very wealthy family and is a young doctor. And a disastrous event occurs at one family gathering, which brings um, these two people together. And uh, so following their stories and about economic inequalities in modern day Nigeria, I loved uh, Adebayu's uh, novel Stay With Me. I, I thought that was such an incredible story and book. And uh, so I'm so excited to read her new novel. On March 2nd, there's a literary event with the new novel by Eleanor Catton, Burnham Wood. This is set on a large remote farm in New Zealand. And all the normal routes to this farm uh, get cut off when a landslide occurs. Um, so the farm is abandoned. Uh, but a philanthropic uh, group of friends want to start a farming collective on this plot of land. Uh, but also an American billionaire has interests in this land. So it's about that conflict. Um, it's described how uh, this uh, novel takes the central ideas of Macbeth uh, and takes them to modern day New Zealand. So I'm really curious about how that's going to play out. And this is her first novel um, since her Booker Prize winning book, The, the Luminaries, um, which was such an incredible novel. It, it inspired me to start my book blog uh, all that time ago. What That was like, what, nine years ago or so? So yeah, can't wait to read this. On March 16th, there's the new novel by Benjamin Myers called Cuddy. Uh, so Myers was inspired to write this novel um, from a real life historical figure um, called Saint Cuthbert, who is alive around uh, like the 600s AD. And he's uh, affectionately known as Cuddy and uh, known by some as the saint of the north of England. And uh, he was quite a hermit, uh, but also very connected with nature. And so he writes about a number of individuals who have been influenced or inspired by this saint over the centuries. And he does this through a number of different styles and forms um, through narrative prose, but also some poetry. So it sounds like quite a unique style of, of novel. And I've read a number of Benjamin Myers books before. Um, he is so good, especially in the way that he writes about the natural world and uh, individuals um, who aren't often represented in fiction. Um, I think he is such a powerful writer. And he says in the introduction to this that he um, took over four years writing this book. So I'm so keen to see what the story is like. On April 6th, there's the new novel by Max Porter called Shy, uh, another very innovative writer. This is a very short book following just a few hours in the life of a teenage boy who has just escaped um, from a place called Last Chance, which is known as a home uh, for very disturbed young men. Uh, so it's just following his point of view and experiences and the emotional turmoil he's going through. And the way that Max Porter captures the emotional experience of his characters and the difficulties that they're going through, I think is so powerful. Um, so this is very exciting. On April 13th, the debut novel, The Five Sorrowful Mysteries of Andy Africa by Stephen Broro will be published. This novel is also about a teenage boy uh, in modern day Nigeria, who's a very diligent student studying mathematics at school. And he dreams of 
forming uh, Africa's first superheroes. And at his church one day, um, he meets and falls in love with a new white girl who starts attending uh, the church. Uh, but also a anti-Christian mob descends upon their church and creates um, of crisis. Uh, so it's uh, following that story and I'd actually um, met this author at uh, the Booker Prize um, party, the announcement of the, the winner um, this past year um, because uh, Stephen Burrow was a recipient of the, the Booker Prize um, Foundation Scholarship. Um, so uh, yeah, it's really exciting that his debut novel is coming out um, and he was really nice. He came up and introduced himself to me and also coincidentally Max Porter is um, given an endorsement for this book where he says, I fell in love immediately um, with this book. Eccentric, profound, timely, specific. It has global concerns and a really, really brilliant central character. Now on April 20th, this is so exciting, Claire Fuller's new novel, The Memory of Animals, is going to be published. I really love this very intriguing cover. Uh, it's about a young woman uh, who is in debt and so in order to get out of that she signs up um, for a vaccine trial um, at a facility in London and um, so as she goes to take this trial with a number of other individuals um, during that time they realize that everyone in this facility and outside on the streets of London have disappeared and so there's a whole mystery about what happened to them and while she's um, trying to decide what to do and where to go from here. Um, she's sifting through memories of the past. Um, so this sounds like quite a different uh, sty style of story um, for Claire Fuller. Um, but I've read all of her books. I think she's a fantastic writer and I'm so excited to read this. And finally, on May 4th, there's the new novel Chrysalis by Anna Metcalf. Um, this is a story about a young woman, uh, but it's told from the points of view of three different characters um, who all know her and have a different perspective on her life and it's about the, the difficulty of knowing someone especially in the modern day age when um, people's lives are mediated um, through social media. Um, so the, the writer Avni Dashi who wrote the amazing novel Burnt Sugar um, which I loved um, says, wow I just devoured this. Uh, what a wonderful painful funny novel. It's so beautiful and cruel and summed up just perfectly perfectly by the ending, a flawless final sentence, one of the best I've ever read. It absolutely gave me chills, um, which makes me so intrigued to, to read it and get to the end um, to know what that final sentence is. I, I think that's a really difficult thing for an author to, to pull off. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really intrigued by this. So those are all the books I'm going to talk about. Um, let me know if you're interested in reading any of these books now um, as well. But also, like I said, let me know in the comments below on um, what books are being published next year um, that you know about that you're really looking forward to. Um, please let me know about that. I, I want tips off of, of the uh, best new books that are coming out and what I should be um, looking out for as, as well. Uh, but thank you for watching. I hope you're reading good things and have a happy new year and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.